Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Saturday edition of Recast. Um, Recast, uh, Recast is our uh, streaming program um, where we do live shows and talk in, uh, live talks and live interviews um, uh, with, with Christian leaders and also um, um, uh, we, we do Bible studies uh, here uh, straight from the co. Um, um, so I'm delighted to join with you all on the Saturday uh, uh, evening. Um, uh, before um, I share my thoughts uh, for today, um, there's a book um, I want to talk about. Uh, it's a very good book called The Case for a Creator. Uh, as you can see, um, it's, um, it's, uh, it's written by Lee Struvel. Uh, there's so many people in this day and age who does not know about God, who, who, uh, who, are, who claim themselves to be atheists. Um, and this book answers uh, all this question, the case for a creator. So if you have a friend or family members um, who does not know God or who, who claim themselves to be uh, an atheist, uh, you can give this book. Um, I'm sure they will be blessed by this. Um, you can buy this on Amazon or any other uh, Christian books to, uh, shops. It's a very popular book. Um, um, today I just want to share um, uh, about facing discouragement and opposition in life. Um, I was reading Nehemiah um, chapter 4 es uh, yesterday um, uh, and, and it's a powerful reminder why we should never give up in the face of uh, discouragement and opposition. Um, the, the, the chapter goes like this, when Sanballat heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed he ridiculed the Jews. He became angry and greatly incensed. Uh, when we try to do something for God, it can be simple things. Um, it, um, it's, uh, I mean, preaching from the pulpit is not the only thing that we do for God. It can be raising kids. It can be um, washing the utensils or keeping the, keeping the house clean. It can be any work. Um, or if, 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 if you're in in ministry, if you want to do something for God, uh, sometimes you get discouraged. You can see um, when Sanballat heard that they were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. That's the attitude of the enemy. The enemy always uh, uh, wants you to stop what you're doing for God. Uh, here, you get angry and, and was greatly incensed. And then the verse says, he ridiculed the, he ridiculed the Jews. He, uh, he, uh, he, he made uh, fun of their work. Um, and in the presence of his associates and the army of Samaria, he said, what are those feeble Jews doing? Will they restore their wall? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble, burned as they are? So these are very, very strong words, and sometimes uh, can be very discouraging. I, I'm sure it must be discouraging for Nehemiah, when, because Nehemiah tried to uh, build the ruined walls of uh, Jerusalem. Um, and, and, and that's when he heard this uh, discouraging words from Sanballat. And, and he, he also said, can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble? It's almost the enemy saying, what you're trying to do is impossible. Um, it's an impossible situation. Um, and, and, and can they bring the stones back to life from the heaps of rubble? Sometimes our life, our, our life uh, is like this a heap of rubble, ruined walls, broken bricks, everything broken. The memories, the dreams we had, uh, for, for our future, broken heaps of rubble. And when we try to rebuild our life, sometimes we get this discouraging voice. It's impossible, you can't do this. And, and then uh, it's not only St. Balad, the, the Bible says Tobiah, the Ammonite who was at his side, said, what they are building, if even a fox climbed up on it, he would break down the wall of stones. See, here, uh, Tobiah joins the, the, the group of people making fun of uh, Nehemiah's work uh, and uh, he, he's sharing his opinion uh, what they are building if even a fox climbed up on it he would break down their wall of stones sometimes people always share their opinions uh, on what we do isn't it um, some people share positive opinions some people 
uh, words where, where words sometimes can be discouraging, can be negative. Uh, people always have opinion, and we don't have to take everything. We don't want to. We don't want to hear everything, and then get discouraged. And 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 the Bible says, uh, verse four: Hear us, O our God, for we are despised. Turn their insults back on their own heads. So uh, Nehemiah started praying to God, and then it goes on to say. Uh, verse 6, so we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height for the people worked with all their hearts. That's amazing, isn't it? People worked with all their hearts. Sometimes in the midst of discouragement, in the, in the uh, midst of opposition. This is what we have to do. We have to do God's work with heart and soul. We just have to pour our hearts because it's not, you know, we are not doing this for people, we are doing this for God. We have to pour our heart and soul for the work we are doing. Um, and, and the verse the, goes on like this. But when Sanballat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the men of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's wall had gone ahead, and the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. See, they kept on going. They kept on going in the midst of a discouragement of position, and, and the enemy got angry. Nehemiah never gave up. And, and, and the Bible goes, uh, went on to say, they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and stir up trouble against it. But we pray to a God and post to God day and night to meet this threat. I just want to pause here. This is amazing because the verse says they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem. But we pray to our God. Isn't that amazing? In the midst of opposition, in the midst of a threat. See the, the, the mockery, the, the, the discouraging voice, the, the voice that ridicules is now turned to a threat now. So in, in the midst of the threat, now what did Nehemiah do? But we pray to God. Sometimes that's what we have to do. We don't want to get depressed. We don't want to go and, and close the door and, 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 and just hide and, and then cry and put a pity party. In the midst of opposition and discouragement, what did Nehemiah do? But we pray to God. There's a beautiful verse in Psalms 119 where David says, The enemies are trying to destroy me, but... I ponder on your statutes. David and Nehemiah always kept their eyes on God in the midst of uh, opposition, in the midst, even though trouble surrounded them. Threat was, was imminent. Everything around them was chaotic. People were plotting together. Wicked were trying to destroy, as David put it that way. But David pondered on the statutes of God. Nehemiah, but we pray to God. So it doesn't matter what we are surrounded with, discouraging voice or uh, opposing voice, or threats, mockery, people ridiculing our work, doesn't matter. Let's continue to pray to our God and let's continue to keep, keep on doing what we are doing. And then the verse 10 says, Meanwhile, the people in Judah said, The strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much rubble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Now the people are feeling the, the discouragement, the team. Sometimes the team, even when we are trying to keep us strong, the people around us, the people who are helping, they, they, they need encouragement as well. They can feel weak. They can feel uh, a discour they can feel the discouragement. That's what's happening here. They say there's so much trouble that we cannot rebuild the wall. That must be very uh, ha must be a hard time for Nehemiah. It's a it's a big setback for him. And then uh, the Bible says also our enemies said before they knew it or uh, or see us we will be right there among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. That's a death threat to Nehemiah and his people. 
Then the Jews who lived near the, them came and told us ten times over, wherever you turn, they will attack us. And, and look at verse 14. After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. That's a great statement Nehemiah is making to encourage his people. Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome. This reminds me of the, 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 the situation that Elisha and his servant faced. Uh, when Elisha was surrounded by, by the enemies, when uh, El Elisha's servant woke up and he saw uh, that their house was surrounded by, by uh, the, the, the enemy king's uh, armies, uh, uh, this, uh, horses and, and, and um, soldiers ready to capture Elisha. Elisha's servant was so worried and fearful and said, Oh my Lord, what, what are we going to do? We're being surrounded by our enemies. Sometimes that's what, that's how we feel. We, we're surrounded by troubles. We're surrounded by opposition. We're surrounded by, 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 by threats. And, and Elisha said, Don't be afraid. Those who are with us are, are more than those who are against us. That's an amazing thing. And then Elisha said, he prayed, Lord, open his eyes. And, and God opened his eyes and, and, and the servant saw that the, the hills and char the chariots, the, the entire hill was surrounded uh, by the angelic armies and chariots from heaven, sir, protecting Elisha. That's, that's how life is sometimes we feel we are surrounded by enemies but what we need to do is we need to pray we need to ask god to open our eyes just like and nehemiah said don't be afraid of them remember the lord who is great and awesome he's a we have a great and awesome god sometimes we need to we need to um uh, stop focusing on our problems we need to um open our eyes we need to ask God to open our eyes so that we can we can look at the great and awesome God we can look at the, the protection that God is um, uh, is giving us from the enemies we can look at the the, the protection God is giving us from from discouragement we, we need to stop focusing on the discouraging voice and the opposition and the enemies. And we need to open our eyes to see what God is doing among us. What God is doing in your life and my life. We need to ask God, Lord, open my eyes so that I may see what you're doing in my life. Never get discouraged. Never give up in the midst of uh, opposition and discouragement. Keep on doing what you're doing for God. And, and, and verse 15 says, When our enemies heard that we were aware of their plot and that God had frustrated it, we all returned to the wall, wall each to his own work. See, God frustrated it. When we take a stand, the enemies always said, step back. We have to stand firm in the midst of opposition. Stand firm in the midst of discouragement enemy will step back because God will always frustrate the, the plans of the enemies so we, they, they returned and, uh, to the wall and started their own uh, started their work they never gave up never ever give up uh, God's work when we are faced with discouragement and and verse 16 says from the that from that day on half of my men did the work while the other half were equipped with spears shields bows and armor the officers posted themselves behind all the people of judah who were building the wall those who carried materials did their work with one hand and held a weapon in the other and each of the builders wore a sword at his side as he worked i'm going to finish with this that's a 
great um, uh, way to do God's work because the Bible says those who carried materials did their work with one hand and held a weapon in the other sometimes we have to carry the, the do keep on doing God's work in one hand and carry the weapons to fight the, the enemies on the other hand It should go hand in hand and we fight on our knees we 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 pray when we are surrounded by discouraging voice when we are surrounded by troubles we 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 fight on our knees we keep praying on one hand and the other hand we keep doing god's work we keep building the wall, a wall we keep building god's kingdom never give up never stop the work that god has called you to do and call me to do and and remember we uh, remember the lord who's great and awesome he's the god who created the heavens and the universe he's so big he's so amazing and god will never ever let you be ashamed no god will never give up on you let's let's um, finish this time of uh, study uh, by by uh, a word of prayer and i'm going to pray for you pray for your situation if if you are watching this and if you are feeling discouraged or if you're facing opposition uh, let's let's spend some time in god's presence and and ask god to 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 open our eyes that we may see what god is doing in our life heavenly father we come before your presence in jesus christ precious name thank you for you are a great and awesome god you are a god who's far above and 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 far above everything the enemies cannot match your majesty and and your power and we have such a great and awesome god in our midst protecting us encouraging us and you're doing a great thing your word says in isaiah see i'm doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it lord help us open our eyes that we may see this new thing that you are doing in our life open our eyes that we may see see what you are doing in my in our life but uh, and help us to shut our ears from those discouraging voice from those from those um uh, voice that opposes us that mocks us ridicules at work and 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 we uh, lord i pray those who are watching this tonight if they are discouraged if they are feeling down would you encourage us lord would you encourage those who are uh, feeling down tonight we pray that that your voice of encouragement your your voice of a uh, comfort will lift us up because your word says those who wait upon the lord shall renew their strength thank you for speaking to us um uh, this evening in Jesus Christ precious name amen and amen thanks for joining us um we hope to um see you again um uh, in the next edition of recast <laughs>